There is only one indigenous broadcaster championing the cause for the restoration of Biafra. Biafra Human Rights Radio. Of course, unstoppable and remains the beacon of truth. It has been so since yesterday. And it is today and forever.
remains sacrosanct. It is irreversible. And no amount of force can dampen nor quench the ingenuity and the resilience of the indomitable Biafran spirit. There is only one indigenous broadcaster championing the cause for the restoration of Biafra. Biafra Human Rights Radio. Of course, unstoppable and remains the beacon of truth. It has been so since yesterday and it is today and forever. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Dear friends across the globe, and of course, going to the Epic, the Anna Bibibu territory this evening. I see about the air. This is Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station. But of course, we all understand that Radio Biafra Extra is streaming to Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station. I will say fellow Biafrans and lovers of freedom across the globe this very evening, all the way from Biafra land. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. I want to, as customary demand, begin to acknowledge eminent personalities who have stood their ground for the overall interest of the Biafran people. The Biafra customary government, which is headed by Lahaji Asare Dokobo and deputized by our leader, Ada Reta Anibogo. And of course, on that very platform, the Fatu customary government of Biafra, we have people like Uche Nasebu, Ikenna Nwano Inyi, Ogono, Mazimu Kinkwo, Dr. Okado, we have Uzurumba, we have so many pro Biafran groups working assiduously to ensure that our life is changed back to what it's supposed to be or what it used to be. And so all of you both those on the implementation committee, those on the advisory body, and of course the interim parliament you are all highly appreciated. I move on to other pro Biafran group who believe, based on extensive knowledge, that their idea, their agenda, their principle, their initiative is going to give us what we want. Simple thing. We want to be the author of our destiny. I believe that as you walk towards that direction, that your effort will not be in vain. Let it pay off in the end. Some of you believe on the idea that power should be devoluted, divided among the component region that makes up Nigeria, and all will be well. We encourage you, continue to pursue that track. Maybe one day we will all get to our destination. Then some of you believe in the referendum. Continue to pursue it. While you do that, do not forget the method, the principles or initiative that must be put in place. Continue. Exploit every avenue. We need this referendum, one way or the other. Some of you believe in the lower Niger Delta, Minas, side the constitution of 1999. We in support of you. Vigorously pursue what you want. And some believe in Biafra, holistical Biafra. And of course, like the Biafra nation, we will pursue it with all the strength that is left in us. And so all of you, all the pro Biafran group, the only group I will tell to change their ways, even this evening, is IPONC, IPOB, lead by Nande Kano, Yahoo Yahoo Freedom Fighter. All these things, this is the end. You are not going anywhere. It doesn't matter how much you struggle. You are just wasting your time. Stop propaganda. Stop criminality. Stop destroying our value. And maybe, maybe you will reconsider your position. And of course, this having been said, I acknowledge members of the Biafra Nation Alliance. We have to detail all this information for the sake of the next generation, not people like us. The next generation must be wary of criminals who project themselves as angel of light, but yet they are evil, worse than Lucifer. 
Biafra Nation Alliance members, I acknowledge you. You have done what nobody thought is possible. And some are waiting for you to die. They project evil against you. And of course, you feel their influence. But I tell you, the watchmen are there. We are sandaled with spiritual responsibility. This is one thing they will not understand. Abeno Pabe and Nanda Kano Secret Court and all your invoking and evil projection. You have no idea. There are things that bombards at night. We respond to them. You knew they can kill you. You knew they can kidnap you. You knew you can be raped by Nanda Kano and his gang. But yet you came out. And somebody will say, don't take time to acknowledge you. Biafra Nation Alliance family, you are doing well. Okare no no ma. Onye sino ubu ono ke je kabu ongwe. Onye guno ono ulu kadabi mulu ahon. Make ni ye ji hen le we mama ane hwe kairi o chan. We ke ji shi we buru e make no bubu la bubu hen. So aswa sofyo hen. No wa joglis we no ke. I do not expect you to understand everything. But God who is in heaven remains our witness. And of course, I must proceed at this hour to acknowledge the conscious men and women across the globe. There are most of you. I've come across, in fact, one of them came online yesterday. He's from Bangladesh and he listened to us and he said something that is worthy of emulation. You should have gone home with that. He said they were in the same position. Bangladesh. They suffered, but they had to fight. It's not ESM fight. It's not a known gunman fight. They fought with their heart. They fought with their brain. They fought with their mind. They fought spiritually and physically and everything within them. I remember some time ago, my brother called me, my younger brother called me from Bangladesh. And I said, what are you doing there? The place is somehow backward. What, what did you go to do there? He said, brother, leave that thing. He said, you are right. In the community where I am, most of the building there now are more houses. But I have been wondering, why can't they build block house? Because he deals on gold, silver, diamond. And why would somebody leave New Delhi and move all the way to Bangladesh to deal with such expensive commodity? He told me they don't value bank. That most of the mud houses you see is stacked up with gold, silver, diamond, and other precious stones. And so one way or the other, they are not poor. They came together and to live out of Pakistan, they got their freedom. Now they are the author of their destiny. If they want to live as pauper, it's okay for them. If they want to live like kings on their throne, it's okay for them. But at least they are happy the way they are. This is exactly what we're asking for. We must learn from all of them. And so we understand all of you who can identify with us in our suffering. Some of you are beer friends. Some are almost discouraged. And I must encourage you. No matter the investment you have made on N and the canal, you must not be discouraged. That is how it is meant to be. You played your role. And I tell you, posterity I will bless you generation after generation they will consider what you have done people don't understand we are spending more time keeping record than whatever we are doing and the day will come your sacrifices and your actions on this day has been written in the sand of eternity and i tell you your good deed it will echo into eternity and beyond the pyramids of Egypt. Men and women will still talk about you. You think we are here to talk about the, the nocturnal attitude of some criminal element in the name of Biafra Restoration Project and then not consider those of you who have served sincerely when I see most of you misbehaving. I, I feel your pain. But then you were somehow not in tune with the real reality. That is why Nandekano can do all of you. The day we begin to publish Nandekano amount, he starts across the globe. All of you, most of you will weep. This guy is thinkingly rich. This guy is thinkingly rich. 
Of course, we are working with other auditors across the globe. We will uncover all his account. You think you can turn into Ibu and then you escape from it, you have no idea. Nena and all of you get ready. Let me not digress further. And to those of you, it doesn't matter the camp you belong now, as far as you are a friend, as far as you mean us well, your interests will be protected. We just want fairness. We want equity, transparency, justice. I stop there. I acknowledge you this evening and I tell you, remain strong. I move on to the indigenous people of Omanekano. Their number is greatly dwindling since the attack on China Sanguru. The El Mustafa of Biafra land, the Bus Ai, the man who point and kill for Omanekano. And those of you in Biafra land, I don't understand the level of damage done to your brain. That somebody who don't have a house in Kuwait until he starts stealing our money is calling your phone line and telling you, bro, 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 you got to kill George Onyibe, bro, bro, you got to blackmail George Onyibe, but I tell you, any effort, anything you do regarding me will be the last you will do in your life. Maria here. That will be the last thing you will do. And let's not get to that bus stop. Because I will make sure, I, George Onyibe, by the grace of God, will make sure any eye punk I see around me or around any Biafra Nation Alliance family with proofs and evidence that you are after their life, Ghana will not continue. You will go to Yugoslavia if it's still there anyway. You don't do that. Respect your life. Acknowledge you. Come on my wall and yap. The next generation will see the level of damage done to your brain. And they will wish you were not this stupid to follow Nanda Kano sheepishly. Come and yap, I need it. It's motivating me. Your presence on my platform has actually been of great inspiration to this movement. And this having been said, all of you men and women, okum, okum, I just feel like tonight, beginning to mention name of genuine men, my manest man, Hamburg man, all of you, acknowledge you, believe me, I understand how you feel. I have seen angels in disguise. Most of them are Igbo man. Of course, they are all Biafrans. Angels in disguise. I have talked to my, uh, what do you call this brother? Ezekiel. It's He has the same spirit with him, Badike. I have tested all of you spiritually. And don't let anybody shut you down. One of them, I don't know why I forgot his name. When he came from America to Anambra, I visited him. I read their intention in their mind. And I see angel. And that is why I cannot underrate any Biafran who stood on the path of righteousness. That is the reason why we are here. And of course, this having been said, I must acknowledge the Creator who in his infinite mercy has protected us from evils and shenanigans of Nandekano and the evil agenda of Nigerians against us as a people. I acknowledge the creator who in his infinite wisdom has set our feet upon this path that we must follow. Chukwo Nedema Anya Nelo Wau Chukwo ne de ma Izuru ke me o O de ma ne me ma o Apata ne kumwa o Chukwo ne de ma Izuru ke me Ise, ise, ise Of course this evening Like always we In much of our time We go to our topic this evening Which is simply titled Any agenda that influence a nation must be properly any agenda that influence a nation any agenda that can influence a nation any agenda that can influence an organization any agenda that can influence a ministry my brother it need to be properly reviewed we are fighting for the restoration of biafra and a lot of agenda are popping up 
And I can assure you 99.9% .9 of such agenda has the capacity to influence the emerging Biafra nation that we are here to restore. They must be properly reviewed. The easiest way to enslave, the easiest way to enslave, not just by people, but by situation and circumstance, is for them to neglect agenda or policies that is being formulated for or against the people without adequate response. The easiest way to enslave a people, turn you to slave, they turn you to slave easily, is by, it's not just by being enslaved by people. Some people are free. Nobody is threatening you. Nobody is harassing you. Nobody is compelling you to do something you don't want to do. And they turn you to slave. And you are a slave, you won't even know it. You think it is being turned by slaved by the enemy that is the issue. Situation and circumstance turns us to slave. If you are not aware of such situation, of such circumstance, of such people, you will be turned to a slave. These are some of the things we are going to review tonight because a lot of policies, a lot of agenda is being initiated into our day-to-day -day life and activities. And we are not properly reviewing them. And now look at most of us as eventually slaves without even our knowledge. Some work very hard to enslave you and they achieve it. And then situation and circumstance turns you to a slave. And because they are not properly reviewed, you become a slave. They must be adequately reviewed. And so tonight, if we want to, to, to enable you as a Biafran to understand what we are saying, because a lot of things are going wrong. And I encourage you, I beg your indulgence, help yourself so you can be able to help others. You think it's all about us? You think it's all about us? You must properly review them. We have been in different areas in this life. And we have reviewed issues. I worked in an organization around 19, 2008 or thereabouts. And along the line, I noticed that the system was actually and against the ethics of our profession. I met the director in charge of that organization and I said to him, this is what we profess on daily basis and it is contrary to what we do. I think it is better we preach or we practice what we preach. It looks like an insult to the director. And from that day, he made sure that I am undermined in every area. But I love people like that because I understand. I am a testimonial to the fact that you cannot underestimate the truth. You cannot switch it. You cannot change it. I knew it does not need defense. All you have to do is let the truth go. It will get to your destination. And I suffered a great deal. But I've reviewed what they were doing. And then the second in command, as I will use the language now, knew the truth already. But it was so principled like most of you. That he cannot play low, you know. What I'm doing to some of you, he's playing low. He doesn't have class. But you are the one who don't have sense. Because if indeed you have sense, you will know that a woman who that is running, better run. You know, no get breast again. You know, you know, you know, he don't know he has a breast. When you see a woman running for her dear life, no matter the length or the weight of her breast, she does not. She runs. 
because we are in a very precarious situation and so and some want let's be polite let's be mechanized let's be oh that are you witness our politicians in the terms or guise of politically sound and correct look at where we are he is a principal man and i respect him for that and he said to me i understand brother what you have seen and your position and i know at this moment your next line of action is to pull out please do not pull out because if you pull out you lose the moral ground you lose the privilege you lose the opportunity to address this situation i have faith in you i'm not telling you it's going to be easy for you but i'm asking you remain in the system you will change the system i have been there before and the man hasn't discussed with me encouraged me i stood my ground and this is around 2008 I challenge a system that could just with a twinkle of an eye they will disappear me i challenge them to the end and i was able to change the system i remember the last day i addressed the head of that organization she was ashamed he was ashamed in fact after the boardroom meeting he boarded his flight from Portaco to Lagos without discussing with anybody. He told my subordinate who was trying to oppress me and say, I'm sorry for you. He couldn't defend himself. I'm no longer there because I have to move ahead. But the point is that I left in deliberate print that cannot be countered by anyone. And they keep appreciating me till today. But it's not an easy journey. What am I trying to tell you? In this very journey, you must stand for the ultimate good of our people more than any other. And this is the sum of the things that can make us survive as a people. A lot of things are going. Policies have been formulated. Agendas have been introduced. Without our knowledge, we, we are not properly reviewing it. And to some of you, it is the way to go. It is not the way to go. Having said that, let's look at some of these examples. Maybe it will help us as a guide. Example of such instance where agendas and policies are introduced to the detriment of the people because they did not properly review it. And today, we are wondering how, how did they get there? How did you get ourselves into this mess? My brother, it is because our fathers and their father before them begin fail to review some of this agenda. And we cannot afford to make the same mistake. One of them tonight we are going to review is we look at the African ordeal in three dispensation. The challenges the people of Africa go through. They were not weak. Africans, I have not seen an African as a weak nation. I understand their level of backwardness in a time like this. But I cannot underrate Africa in any way. But like the poetry written by our brother Mazizi Kunene, I could only call on them to rise up. You see, as a literature student, it gives me access to understand African culture in general and Biafran culture in particular. I was a fan, I am a fan of Chinu Achibe. Forget about Lion and the Jewel and the rest of them. J.P. Clark and the rest of them. I understand that the poetry which you have today or study in school was just an indirect way of a revelational review of what these people have in their mind. By way of digressing, he wrote, African, my Africa, Africans of proud warriors in essential savannah, Africans of whom my grandmother sings of. I have never known you, but your blood flows in my vein, your beautiful black blood that irrigate the field, the blood of your sweat, the sweat of your work, the work of your slavery. Tell me, is it your weight that is bent under the weight of humiliation? And I can go on and on and on. It talks about Africa. And I can tell you, with the knowledge I have, I cannot underestimate Africa. But the point is that they did not put certain issues into review. The, this is the same case of Biafra. 
what's going wrong and we have failed to review all these things the next generation will suffer for it that is one of the reasons we are here told the who told homo sapiens that you need to bath africa where is the first discover a stone or a, 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 a parliament or any right up anywhere in Africa it takes another generation to disciple it they cannot the pyramids of Egypt remain a mystery till today are we going to talk about the tombs of Nefertiri and the Cleopatra uh, the rest of them and, and, and I understand if this were true if this ancient history were there if Moses was actually born in africa raised up in africa educated in africa married in africa and died in africa my brother you can't tell me less of africa and so if you're african listening to me tonight i respect you but we have failed to review certain agenda and policies that were initiated into the system without our knowledge you do, do i have to go back to a mysterious times you don't even remember they existed let me stop there but then something happened it was first the exploration era the colonial masters came they could be the portuguese they could be the francophones they could be the anglophones they could be the americans whoever they are they invaded africa it was not easy for them somebody like uh, shaka the zulu of south africa he stood his ground from the germans to everybody who placed their foot on south africa shaka the zulu curtailed all of them and then with time they were acquainted with their actions. They became a friend. They could show him mirror and he has not seen one before. He does not need mirror because he can look into the water and see reflection of images across the galaxy, spiritually or physically. But this was shocking. He never knew he could materialize naturally. They gave him wine and he got drunk. And they showed him some little, little Igbo magic. And he trusted them. And allow them well or sojourn among them. They never believed that those whites that entered South Africa will enslave them to the extent that along the line the next some generation stood up and fought Africa. What is a Yibo man doing in, in, in South Africa? But I will not go there for this study. But understand something went wrong somewhere. And the people could not took, take time to reveal all these things. And when Shaka the Zulu passed on, South African become white and black country. And they are still here today. They are still slaves without their knowledge. Of course, economically, politically, they are free. But economically, South Africa is still a slave. But we wouldn't go there. And so, in the era, in the dispensation of exploitation, they came. Exploration. They came as friends. The door was open for them. They studied us and took advantage of what they know. And this is where we are today. Africa has become a dumping ground. Other homo sapiens from around the globe do not understand that what we have achieved as a people would have been able to take the world to another level in terms of development and all the wise but they, they, they stifle us they suffocate us they kill us they bring us down they want to say supremacy and i tell you you will never know the secret that governs the universe because it is not with all of you the world would have been better if every region if every continent were allowed to present what they can offer on a global setting where we can all benefit from each other but the point I'm bringing to you tonight is that Africans never bothered to review. They just take it that way and this is where we are.
And so the era of exploitation, because they left their region and they came to our region, they, they, they want to know what we have. They discover we had crude oil, we have palm oil, we have ivory, is it elephant talks? We have gold, silver, diamonds, and among all this. And then they left. And we, their presence was actually encouraging. They were very fascinating. Our ancestors loved them, but they failed to review the danger behind this visit. And then some hundreds of years later or decades later, they came back. This time was exploitation. And of course, in the case of Nigeria, they came as a royal Niger company. They were businessmen. They saw the monarchs who owns the land. The likes of King Jajar of Opobu, of course, the likes of Nana of Ishekiri, of Varomi Obaisi, Eze Wawawa of Eboyi, Eze Nri of Omambara, the Denyi of Agbo, must I begin to mention names for you? All of them were there. Agreement was reached. Whatever they want, we provided. They paid actually. But then, within this buying and selling, there were other agenda that is not known to us or neither considered nor reviewed. And so we went to sleep. And why men sleep? Royal Niger data bought Nigerian without our knowledge. Because things were not properly reviewed. We are going somewhere. Be patient for the sake of the next generation. I understand how much expensive data is. But then let's tell ourselves the truth. And so in the dispensation of era, the colonial master, or the imperialists, as we choose to call them, they not only bought palm oil and all that things they need, they bought us. And sometimes when somebody is waiting for London to talk about my welfare, I just begin to wonder, could London be the creator? We fail to review. We ignore certain issues that are of utmost importance. And from the era of exploitation, now they own everything in our land without proper documentation or how it becomes theirs. It's okay. They came to the era of colonialism. Of course, this is the era of exploitation. They came to the era of uh, colonialism. They colonize us. They tell us how to speak English. They tell us how to be dressed. They tell us what to eat. And certainly very soon they will tell you who to marry. It's okay. You call it civilization and advancement, but you have failed to review it. Nations like India, somewhere along the line, has a decision to make. They have a choice. And so when the British left India, Indians understand that their language must be respected. They do speak English, but that is not their official language, if I'm not correct. They do dress like British, but they do not play with their traditional attire, if I'm correct. They accepted uh, religion, Christianity, from their colonial master, Britain, but of course they have their own religion identity. Everything British brought for them, it was properly reviewed. Indian has not comfort any day to see they are among the world power, just like the Israel. But I can tell you the truth tonight. If you know the military capacity of India, I do not think nations like China, Japan, or America will wake up one day and challenge India. I tell you the truth. You talk about iPhone technology, you talk about ITC and advanced technology globally, you will see it looks as if there is no advanced technological uh, 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 manufacture of items without the signature of India and there. They don't talk about it. But tonight I make you understand. They are among the world power. Why? Because at every given instant, they take time to review everything. This is one thing Biafrans are not doing. This is something we should be doing. And that is the essence of tonight's discussion. And so you will understand. These things are revelation. They do not come by going to Harvard University. They do not come by your exposure. They come by revelation. And if he gives it to you, you will understand why without any form of technology, 
Joseph was able to advise Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, the most civilized nation in the world as at that time, how to preserve food that are not preservable for 14 years. And now, having gone through this era, we now go back to the systematic of overthrowing or hijacking Nigerian government by the Fulanese. These things we have explained by nations far away, we may never be there, we may never know them. Don't say it's not in Africa, it's not. It's happening right here under your nose and you can't see it. Have you not seen that Nigerian has been hijacked systematically by the Fulani? We have the respected Yoruba intellectuals, and I give it to them. We have the respected Ulu Ole. We have the Jack Gowan and other influential individual from the middle bed. We have formidable men and women from supposedly Niger Delta region. We have our extensive learned brothers from the South East, the Igbo nation, and the mention but a few. And I tell you, we have seen men of different category in this life. And then he, he beat my imagination. How the Fulani could bamboozle all of us and then bring us to a kneel. The secret is simple. We have failed to review policies and agenda that is set on the table. You become selfish. It's happening in your present. When Nigerian was, uh, 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 should I say created or initiated, in the midst of its invention or invent, crisis came up. And they got to a particular point. The only person capable of managing the affair of Nigeria was the Yoruba man, General Gundikbe. He would have stood this ground for the good of all of us. He ran away to London. Are we going to talk about Marodiko? Are we going to talk about others who would have been able to change situations? But they did not. We were there. Before all these people I mentioned, Chukuma Kaduna and Zogo, Agun Yorosi to mention but a few. Where were they when Amado Bello took advantage of all of them? For them. Today we are here shouting, hey, Fulani Janja, we do, hey, we block him, we stay too, no road for him, we stay too, but they cannot come. But uh, sometimes we should be ashamed of ourselves. We should be ashamed of ourselves. Buhari come, Buhari no come. Some of our fathers were there when Buhari stood in Imu Grand, raped women, murdered them in the name of war. Were you not there? Most of you were there. But am I saying this for hatred? It's done us more evil than you can imagine. No amount of propaganda will change anything. You can speak evil to the mind of the people, but we have to make sure that our consciousness is regained. Where were all of us when Fulani hijacked our country? Less than 3% population of the entire over 300 and 600 ethnic nationality. Of course, officially they say you have 250 ethnic nationality in Nigeria. But I can assure you, you have over 300 ethnic nationality alone in Cross River State. But let's go by what they told us. 250 ethnic nationality. Where were all of you when the Fulani took everything from us? And this is because agendas and policies are not, policies are not properly reviewed. And now, you may be wondering, why is, what is this man trying to say? It is simple. Policies and agenda are being initiated already in our very life. Assign the uh, colonial masters, as they call themselves, assigned the the agenda or the encounter with the nigerian state within the biafran nation within the biafran region policies and agenda are being introduced and formulated and most of you are not properly revealing it let us reveal it because somewhere along the line somewhere along the line somebody will have to pay for it and so Today, before our very eyes, by 
by a group of certain individuals who claim to be fighting for our freedom. I punk. Nandekano. IPOB bingo. Unknown gunmen. ESM. I saw the memo coming from the memo writer, Chike Dujem. IPOB gang of criminal known as DOS. All of them. Azaya Oba. Austin Abanye. Choko the former. Tony Zurumiki. Chike Dujem. China Samuru. Nenayanya. I leave the rest. Where they don't know what is happening. They are changing our life, introducing policies and agenda, and you are not revealing it. Some of you hey, the way to go, we got to do it. You be good, eh? you be hero. Oh, I think the slogan of hero beer is uh, nkanye, nkanye bonkanye. Are you a hero beer? Let us tell ourselves the truth. Somebody is going to pay dearly for all these things you are seeing. It cannot be on the mind, I must tell you tonight. He wrote a memo. We tell Imo people, if we catch you outside on the night when Buhari is coming to Biafra land, we will kill you, we will burn your house, we will do like this, we will do like that. We are asking you, don't come on, we are going to shut Biafra land. Is it Biafra land or Igbo land? And some of you say, hey, yes, Buhari should not come. Buhari come, Buhari no come. Does it have the capacity to change our law, the Nigerian state? These areas are to review. Buhari come, Buhari no come. Will he give us the after? We've been doing all these things for more than a decade now. And of course, zombies who do not know we can, hey, Buhari cannot come. If he come, Uncle, what will you do? Now, understand first of all. Some believe, some Biafrans believe in Buhari holistically. They call him day and night. They believe in him. And there is nothing you can do to change their beliefs. But there is a way you can help them because they need help. These are the areas we're supposed to be reviewing. Some of our people are IPC and then the next are PDP. You must reveal the mindset behind their action. And then somebody somewhere who has not been to Nigeria since uh, more than 20 years is writing a memo. If we see you, we kill you. If we catch you, we do you. And then all of you, most of you are going to run inside your home. Igbo people, when I go run entire side house, and then the Kanu is creating a platform that will eventually endanger the next generation because you are freed. And then the Kanu started his madness. I told him and Benjamin Madubugu, where is the transmitter man, Bright Team is here? This your madness will not pass on a head bridge. He knows. But we talk in a way you will not understand. He gathered a boy in youth in Usimili. I won't mention the village. They pretend to be rice farmer. We know already. And the attack is for Nande Kano to use them. The Kano deceives you. You will act and think you are invisible. But none of you will leave Usimili land. And Yoma land. And some of my posts send the signal to Nande Kano and those criminal that our normal land is not for you. You are a farmer. This is you are our brother. I I, I discovered that a boy in state people answer only be even more than data people. And so these are my kings and my nings and my cousins and my uncles and auntie. Why will I kill them? And now that, how can I keep Nande Kano quiet to come and destabilize Delta State as he's destabilizing Imo State and uh, Ebon State? And when he noticed what was coming, he come up body for us. Much of it, oh, he's our hero, he's our supreme messiah. When I know get sense, you people, of course, sorry. When I get sense, you just that you've not seen what is happening. We reviewed everything. 
you are happy. You are happy. We reviewed everything. I have said this in other broadcasts. They want to destabilize a boy state and emo state simultaneously. And their next line of destabilizing was to destabilize Anambra and Delta State simultaneously. Can they come to River State? They did acquire bond. If not for some reason, it's not yet time. I will play all joes of complaint coming from acquire bomb, begging and the Kano and his gang of DOS to get out of their land because they are the one killing them. A stage in this struggle, now the Kano start using Aquaibon people to kill Aquaibon people. And so he can come in and, and, and control everybody's mind. They knew on time. Go and ask Akparawara. Mendia can be their state trying to be loyal. He was even insulting me the other day on Facebook. I just blocked him because he's an idiot. When Aquaibon people cut off your hand and almost nearly killed you. I know what I did to safeguard that your remaining hand, Mendia. Today you think you are going to be relevant. IPOB is gone. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. Stop deceiving yourself. Look for that front group and join. Because then Nanda Kano have soiled his hand. But he's a proud man. He's not humble. And he cannot, he's not ready to make amends. He'd rather die as a failure than to make amends. And we will help him get to his destination. This is a promise and not a threat. So if we came out to fight for Biafra, why you are you ebonizing it? People talk rubbish for what they don't know. The day we will give you history, the day we will give you data, it will shock you. It will shock you. But you people don't know. Most of you don't know. Because they are not properly being reviewed. And so, most of you are going to stay home. Uh, they say, Nasi Tatomo, Buhari Komu, Buhari No Komu. They're still stealing. They're still in publishing you. They will still arrest you, kill you, do everything. You see, we have to review. We have to fight back. Listen to the voice of our brother from Bangladesh. They have to fight. He said, not by stealing police gun. Not with AK-47. You have no idea what we are capable of doing. If we were able to come together to form one impenetrable unit. By now, we will be talking about constitutional amendment or review for Biafra land. Not in, in this Nigeria. But then under cannot prefer the wages of silver and gold above the blood of his people. I told you again. The day we publish in the Kano account, you will see the whipping millions of dollars this man control. You will know why he ran mad. He's mad already. I was listening to Audio Guinea and somebody called him and said, you know his head. Hey, you know he's this one. Some of you are very wicked. If you are genuinely sincere, what you do is you sit back and monitor us. When I was released from DSS, let me tell you some of the things that happened to me. I developed premature pile within that period of being arrested. My white blood cells has reduced to 30. And then I have acute ulcer that I was even shouting and telling them that they are poisoning me. And now look at me, I have kidney problem. They took me to uh, a lab in D-Line in Port Harcourt. They run test on me and they discover that my intestines are gone. Acute ulcer. I develop premature pile because I eat very little food. And they bring me out once in a day to go to toilet. And if I don't force myself to go to toilet, and that means... It's going to be another 24 hours or 48 hours. And I understand how, what it does to my body. And so that early morning, 4 a.m., they bring me, I can't shit. Whether I like, I go shit. I was forcing myself. And I thank God I'm healed anyway. I suffered so many things. And when I came out, annoyed i noticed something if, if 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 i stay in the house 
that period, I was always staying in the corners. And I, I noticed my wife was just looking at me somehow. And I have to call her one day, why are you looking at me like that? He said, don't you know you're behaving ab abnormal? And I said, but I've not talked to anybody. I'm just sitting here. So how please could I be behaving abnormal? He said, don't worry. We ended the conversation. And on a very good day, I was saying, why did you use those words for me? He said, but that is the truth. I was traumatized. I suspect everybody. If somebody moves, boom, at least an idea says, then they come again. If you move, boom, I was just looking like a moron. My, I was, you will not understand anyway. If I didn't say, do you know it? Did IPOB give me Tenkobo? IPOB as organization, do they help me? And I never know waiting people put their life to, to get here and you want to rubbish us. If I say make thunder fire all of on a Yahoo Yahoo freedom fighters, the, 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 it's, it's understatement because you will get there. But why am I saying this? There are men and women of with the heart of angel. They make sure people like us did not die. So many of them. This is not time to celebrate or give anybody accolade. But all of you will have your record. And tonight, may I take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear friends, thank you. Dead and alive, they thank you. And anytime your children will get across that dangerous path in their life, your favor and kindness. This. You are calling on that platform. Eh, he is sick. Do you know when we were sick? Did you visit us? Did you care for us? We never wanted anything. If we were doing it genuinely for Biafra, that is all we want. We will do it even in a home. Hey, he says, sit at home. You must to sit at home. Hey, well, you can allow it thinking it's a button on the canal. But a time will come, you will understand that people who control your life even without your knowledge. We never knew when Royal Niger Company became Nigeria, Nigeria. We never knew when Kayama Declaration was used against the people. People of Biafra. Whatever platform you belong to, wherever you are, there is for proper review. Proper review. Up one day now, they will tell you, "Hey, be our friends. We cannot go to church again." We, we 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 did it. We did it. Most of you can't go to church anymore because of IPOB. And to you, it, it's okay. We just want to get Biafra. It will eventually take over everything that you are. I know the Biafrans; they don't spill blood. It's not their style. And some consider them as weak. Because when they fool any janja weed, according to Nandekano, I was fool any and the rest can bring out their dagger, machete, and then kill somebody. The Biafra was born and raised up then. In my own town, Agbo, Urugudu, where I was born, brought up, raised, buttered and bread. If Moto kill person self, they use tire to barricade the spot where the person died. For one week, no vehicle will run across that path. This was how it is. And then you have a gang of lunatic in the name of IP Ipunk and on the canoe beheading your brother to displaying their head in the marketplace. Two taboo at the same time. And they say, yeah, I can with Biafra. I need me. Are we now going to turn? the blood of our people who has died on the soil of Biafra against us because you void of reasoning or what? My brother, I can go on and go on and I do not want to offend anybody and so I have to stop this discussion, this broadcast at this point. If we fail to respond adequately at this moment, I can assure you, O people of Biafra, that our life can never remain the same again. And so, the people of Biafra to rise up to this evil 
Niko me niko me ya kunye raja abofia. Oruwe se niko le me obi ya niko me. Niko me. Ida se niko me. Ya kunye raja abofia. For those of you who do not understand my language. There is an adage that say. Na so i de do. Na so i de do. Na so madman use the entire market. When somebody how do i put it somebody want to go mad he's going mad already sometimes he will come out in a public place he will pull his head and jump up and down he says, hey, the guy is very jovial <laughs> he's a funny guy before you know he will pull his sneaker there's a living that is how he behaves before you know he's naked nico man nico man i saw they do and i said they deliver before you know he's in the marketplace a lot of evil is being is being promoted here in Biafra land. And then some of you think, uh, and I said, and they do, and I said, and they do leave them. Till your madness enter market. And you know what that means. And so at this moment, I haven't said all this. Our numbers are open for you to make your contribution. And of course, I encourage you. Go and join the Biafra Nation Alliance. Go and join the Fato Customary Government. We have a job to do, a nation to deliver. Don't let anybody deceive you. This journey is going to come in different dimension and formation. And if for any reason any of you think we are here to joke, you have no idea when we tell you we go nowhere. It is Biafra or Biafra. Our lines are open at this moment. Our WhatsApp line remains 70 815 Four five six four two zero seven zero eight one five four five six four two. Our WhatsApp line, like I said, is zero seven zero eight one five four five six four two. Free to call in and make your own contribution. And our direct line is zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one zero eight one two two one. Five two nine seven one zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one is our direct line. Of course, if you are calling from outside Biafra land, do not forget to add the code which is plus two three four. And this having been said, if you cannot access our studio line, I encourage you to if you have my private media platform you are encouraged to call in and make your own uh, contribution the lines are open at this moment you are free to call in and make your contribution i will be back in a minute Yes, uh, caller on the line. Can you hear me? Your name and where are you calling from? Yes, uh, this is Uchen Okeke calling from the city of Marko de State. My brother, you're welcome to the program. Good evening from here. Thank Go you. ahead, please. Thank you very much. Good, good evening. And I use this opportunity to greet all our beer from brothers all over the world. To wherever you are, I say good evening from here. Good morning to you wherever you are. Good afternoon to you. And at the same time, I also I use this medium to stand on the all the protocols. I observe them uh, for honoring all our leaders, our elders, uh, who has uh, uh, put everything in place to see that we get to our home, not minding the hurdles, not minding the hurdles on the way. We know that we must meet one of those one or two things like this. And uh, I believe that uh, by the special grace of God, we are going there. Um, uh, um, my brother, uh, Onyibe, 
that is a joke by Onyibe. Honestly speaking, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It is, it is God that has kept you alive up to this moment uh, because I know God indeed uh, has prepared you for, 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 for a purpose. And that purpose is coming to a limb light right now. If not, the enemy of Jaffa would have taken you out of the way. Uh, but what we are seeing today from your discussions, the enlightenment, the knowledge you are impacting us, dear friends, and the lovers of dear friends all over the world, it is, it is, it is unfathomable. Honestly speaking, you, you, are, you, you, you are carrying us along. And let me tell you also, let me let you know this because you may think you, 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 you are not making a positive impact. Even the enemies, even the en our enemies within, in the formation of IPO Pong, IPONG of Namitano, they are listening to you. They are hearing you. And change is being made. Change, changes can, uh, uh, is happening. Changes is happening in their hearts. Despite not minding their pretense right now, something is happening because what I am seeing today, I want to believe that uh, Jeffra is very close to us right now. Uh, I listened to our brother from South Africa, Odo uh, uh, Guinea. You know, when somebody, when somebody called him and started talking, talking about uh, the, the, the agenda of, uh, of, of uh, actualizing Biafra, that we should have come, come to unism and speak in one voice. And I wonder, does it mean that those people have not been listening to this uh, Biafran Human Rights Radio from the voice of uh, Joba, George Onyide? from the voice of uh, our brother, Odogene. Eh? Does it mean that they haven't been hearing and uh, our elder, uh, the, the, the one in, uh, in America, they have been enlightening us. I know, I know, you, you highlight a lot of things. Biafra Nation Alliance, it has nothing to do with, uh, with uh, personalizing the group to themselves. We talk about uh, IPOB of... Uh, of uh, uh, Uchemi 4, and, and uh, also we talk about, talk about uh, Mazob on their own side, and these bodies have, they, they, they have come together to form what is called Biafra de facto customary government. This is a body that carries everybody along. So what else must, must, must this Biafra of a team be, be sectioned to IPO, IPO, IPO Pong of Nandekano. If it is not Nandekano, it is no Biafra. Now, I wonder where these are people reason from. Do they reason from their, to their annals or what? It is quite unfortunate, but I know, I know that the sickness, the sickness that Nandekano has injected into them by demoralizing their brain, you know, causing a lot of damage in their brain, this, Human Rights Biafra Radio is, is doing a lot, of, a lot of healing. I remember the other time, it was last week, when I called, I, I made mention, I inserted your position, that is a job by you, job by and the position of uh, Uchinofo in the days of uh, with, when you were with uh, Nam De Kano, I know your positions. But today, today, this radio now is doing it positively. He's doing it positively well. Because the errors, the mistakes, because mistakes must be there. If we don't make mistakes, how do we put ourselves right in the future? Mistakes must be there. And that is why we, you have joined hands together to form one alliance known as the Biafran de facto cosmetic government, a body that will carry us to wherever we are going to. Not about an independent group, not about one section. No. If IPOB really are out for Biafra, why is it that they are not a member of this body? What is the problem? Does it mean that IPOB in Namdekanu is, 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 knows everything about Jafra? But what I'm seeing now from all the revelations and the teachings I am getting from you, you are even 100% gap far away from, from knowledge of what, what Jafra has to be uh, to that of Namdekanu. 
start making noise every, every day, comes on radio and make noise, insult people. Eh? This, the issue of insults today emanated from this criminal, from this criminal called Namekanu, insulting everybody. Now, how far have the insults given us Biafra? And somebody is talking about how well, we, we, let's come together and speak in one voice and let us, let us bring your own idea. You talk about uh, Lower Niger Delta, those people who are pursuing, pursuing the, the issue of, uh, uh, of uh, the Nigerian constitution, the social of that uh, evil constitution, yes, bring it together in that body. Let us discuss on best way to follow it. If you say you want you, you, you want it in a in a in a in a referendum, yes, come bring the idea. Let us discuss it. Bring carry your group along. Bring it. Let us discuss it. How how in in in, in which possible way can we go through this referendum? In which possible way can we go through the discussion of uh, this evil constitution? In which possible way can we Are topic for discussion. We put these things together and we come out with the best among them. They are good ideas, but there must be best among them. All of them cannot be good at the same time. And that is why we must put our heads together. So I want to use this opportunity also to advise our brothers, our brothers, let us not be, let us not be deceived or be carried away by emotion. Emotions will not take us to anywhere. We have to use our head. We have to use our God-given sense and reason positively. Look at what is going on today in Biafra land, mostly the southeastern region. Eh? Sit at home, sit at home, sit at home. Everything has become in an, 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 an insult, disgrace. Hello? Hello, anything, everything has, it, it, it has become a child's play. You can see, you see, sit at home. Every small thing, sit at home. And even nothing that things that that does not warrant sitting at home, you sit at home. But when he's coming to him, he says sit at home. What does that mean? How does that affect our our the challenges of Biafra? How does that affect the movement? Nothing, nothing. It does not affect the the movement in any way. You sit at home. Biafra, Buhari will go. To In, in, in their income, but they will not give you 10 people. Eh? So my brother, the radio is doing a very huge work positively. And I believe that by the special grace of God, by the special grace of God, this sickness that none can have injected in our people, in our people, God in his infinite mercy, will start to trash them out, trash them out, and it is happening. It is happening. It is happening. May God bless you. And may God bless all our brothers, our fathers, who are stood on their feet to see that we get to our destination by rightful means, not by destruction. Nobody, no, none of these people calling, is talking about customary government. All is after is the own individual group. Does we, does we work by individual group? We work as a body. And that is what we're going to do, what we are asking for. Thank you very much. I think uh, I will stand by, even while our brothers call from around the world. Thank you very much. Thank Job you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, my brother, all the way from Akodi. Of course, you are actually defending the interest of the Biafran people from that region. And of course, so many projects are on ground, being reviewed. And I want to believe that uh, you are ready because we know. We are going to make sure that the people of Biafra will get home. We make mistakes like the last caller just said, but then we take advantage of those mistakes. We learn. I've always told people, every mistake we make on this journey, it's supposed to be a plus for us, one way or the other. Every mistake we make is supposed to be an advantage. Our fathers before us, the generation of 1967 and 1970, they made so many mistakes. This we acknowledge with humility. We acknowledge this with humility. 
But then he cannot change the fact that they made mistakes. They did. But then what do we do? We take advantage. We take advantage of such mistakes. And we use it for our own advantage. The people of Biafra must be observant. Home and abroad, wherever you are. Policies are being made. Agendas are being initiated. And to some of you, it's normal. It's convenient for you, so it's okay. But if proper care is not taken to review this policy is an agenda, do not be surprised that our life may not remain the same again. And if our life must change, if our values must change, without proper review, we will assure you that many of us will resist it even unto the end. We will resist it because we have suffered enough from such instances. We are out of negligence. Our life is switched, taken over from us. And this is how we are here. And of course, Bia France across the globe, you tell your people in Anambra State that from within the Aziz of Umpo, Obaru, Tere Tere, Anisem Varon, you can get Biafra Women Rights and Freedom Radio Station on 100.5 FM. And of course, the same real station in Anambra cast some of its radio frequency into Delta State. And so those of you within the Aziz of Zine, Obawosa, and of course, down to on the Chahed Bridge, you can get Biafra Women Right and Freedom Radio Station on 100.5 FM. And then if you are in Portacot River State, within Obiakbo and Equity Local Government, you can get this uh, radio station FM from uh, some areas in Igrita, some areas in uh, Wimpy, Rupoko, Rumodumaya, Rumokuru, Rumola, and of course down to my three houses. If you are within this area, if you take that distance within a hundred kilometer radius, you will be able to get Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station. But of course, Men and women across the globe are making efforts to make sure that this radio gets to every nook and cranny of Biafra land. Because what we need at this moment is information, orientation. They need to prepare the platform to change the mind of our people and understand that it is Biafra or Biafra. The lines are open. You are free to call in and, of course, make your own contribution. I'm still standing by. I'll be back in a minute.
Yes, of course. Uh, this moment, I am joined by one of us. My brother, can you hear me? Call on WhatsApp. I can, I can hear you clearly. Good evening from here, and you're welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, um, my, my, I want to give you a very special thank you and uh, a very special prayer that uh, God will continue to strengthen you for your for your time you bring for their friends. Your hard work will never go in vain. Rather those who are praying for you to kill the new generation that what their plan will go in their head. Because it's not it's not easy that you stand to make sure that no one will say the next generation. I must give you a very big thanks for that. Those who don't know what you are doing, those who did not see what you are doing, they are very, very blind. They are very, very blind. When uh, white people who when America created uh, something, I don't know, they say that it is a val of oil, then do uh, 100 and something years, they will continue using it. Then they do budget of uh, uh, many years, uh, maybe 10 years or 100 years ago, they have to do the budget, what they would do, and they keep their money that they will use to do that. And, so this is our people who saw. So somebody like you, Dr. Nibe, sees tomorrow. You see tomorrow. Because this thing you are doing here now and you are fighting, it shows that you are seeing tomorrow. So the people who are fighting against you are very blind people. If they are not blind, it means they are fools. This is the two things they are. If they are not blind, they are fools. They cannot see that you are working to save the next generation. Neither they are blind people or they are fools. So now, my, my, uh, my word to my fellow Diafra is against tomorrow. Against tomorrow, many people are going to die. And they will die for nothing. They are not dying for the Afra, but they are dying for nothing. Because what we keep them is not because of the Afra they die. Where we know from Imo State, how does that, how does that word we give us Biafra. Had it been that if we stop Biafra not to come in the state tomorrow and we get Biafra, then we do it. Everybody will support. Everybody will support. But to, uh, fighting Biafra not to go in the state and you still remain in Nigeria. And there is no even yeah, even even that thing we give you progress that uh, uh, you stop Buhari not to come to state. It will give you bad name again in international communities. Those international communities that will help you, that you are calling, uh, Konsi Buhari is killing us, Konsi Buhari is marginalizing us, and you, you are marginalizing Buhari. So now, and you say you are fighting self-defense. Now you and the Buhari who is doing he or herself self-defense. Because Buhari is threatening to come in with state and kill you. But you are the one threatening Buhari that he will kill him by coming in with state. So now you that is threatening Buhari that he will kill Buhari, now you go to and you are calling the international community to come and intervene in your case. Now you call them. Who do you think that is wrong and the right? You or Buhari? 
And we are supposed to be reasoning, 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 common sense. Common sense, they're supposed to be reasoning. So now you are just right. even for uh, today, what happened at all, some stupid fools carry gun, they shoot for street, telling people that uh, anybody they see on the road tomorrow, that this will happen, the other one will happen. On that three seconds, all of them run, go hide. And I didn't know where they, they hide. Because if they if they stand for road today for 80 minutes, waiting military go do them, they, they go chop them like uh, a bacha. They go chop them like a bacha. But they just one way uh, this and they just come out to do small noise run or go. And they pity the way go die. And they are dying for nothing. I don't know reason why our people cannot get just common, common sense reason with the common sense. What is going on? What are we fighting for? What are we fighting for? If they fight for their life. Okay, now you can fight for Biafra. What is your agenda? Your agenda is to kill your fellow Biafra. Look at Uchina's uh, Uru. No, not Uchina's uh, Uru. Chike, those He come on air. He come on air. Condemn the killing of a uh, uh, um, man in uh, Soka on Monday that is the bond down. The boys. A common air condemn it, and the they be declare that the, those people are not IPOM, that the, nobody sent them th those messages. They go, yes, that is true. That is how so that is how it's supposed to be. You cannot be killing your people, and the, you said you are fighting for your people. Now those fools now nah, that they call that place now, nah, yeah, if they listen to that the broadcast of uh, uh, Ch uh, Chica Edozium uh, on uh, Monday evening, when he was condemning that, uh, you will see they will start afraid. On next week Monday night, nah, you will not see them outside again to come and uh, block any plane. Say that they do see that. They now see that they are on their own. Nobody send them. That thing they are doing. So if now they tell you we are uh, outside doing kind thing that take a dozen, but now they tell you we stand supporting them. Hey, your non government don't go keep person. Your non government, your non government don't go block person. You know, hey, I pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Now, unknown government, now don't kidnap on the color. Unknown government, kidnap on the color. Paria, computer for zoo cage. Paria, computer for zoo cage. All of his power, where they give up to decide the English and the good. He is not begging that he knows the chop. I listen to one useless uh, uh, lawyer. When they interview him, he say he go, he go with the gun and the gun. They pull him clothes, they pull him pants, they do everything. They come out in high glass. Then he went in and the gun, and the gun was shot. They want the comment. My comment is the full one. Who goes in that the color? Even a Jimaton and the Jima for. They never see the criminal. Nobody don't see that the criminal. They're just deceiving them. Look at the team when your phone go out. Look at the team when your phone go out. I don't know whether I'm for someone here. Somalia, he go, you know, all this is Somalia people, they, they resemble white people. He go Somalia, go carry one stupid uh, Somalia person, which is somewhere. 
with his sore as a sore did that in the finish before he go reach a house god come visit him give him that uh, 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 this uh, punishment for that work when he go do with the ojofo ojofo know that he is a criminal because ojofo is a lawyer because some man the color arrest ojofo and the day Hundred percent for nine the galares. Ujo four hundred day hundred percent for nine the galares. The reason is Ujo for know that he no get any right to form security of himself. If Ujo for need security, he will go to police. Then he will sign. Then Nigeria. We give him security, but uh, this Ojo for Nande Kalu, he know that what is wrong. Then he went and they collect security from Nande Kalu, from Nande Kalu, which he know that that thing is wrong. And the Nigerian police, Nigerian invaded his house and they kill all those fools, kill all those fools. Ojofo is not talking about those people they killed for his house. He's not talking about them again. But uh, he, Nigeria was seriously searching for him to arrest him, or he must provide him and the color. This is the reason that he provided him and the color to them. It was very clear. Immediately, the, okay. Is it not a uh, job for where they say Nigerian government they fine, they chase them every day? Went to Abuja that day. Did they arrest him? They did not arrest him because they don't catch him now in the color. That is their grievance. Even if Nigerian people went to his house. To international uh, court, why they come and they invaded his house. He don't know that he know that what he did is very wrong. In a sovereign nation, you went and they create people, give them AKs for seven to be guiding your house. And you know that what he did is very, very wrong. And in those fools, we are using AK for seven and they call it was they uh, already telling you that uh, they give their lawyer security so that the zoo will not touch him or touch, him, or touch the food. And then Nandekalu knew, or Jopo knew that uh, what Nandekalu did is very, very total wrong. It never happened anywhere. Ojofo is not a government, uh, 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 he is not a governor. Neither in any government is ordinary lawyer. So why, why creating security to guide him? Who give him that uh, power and the law that he use create security? Not that he create security. He know that the Nigerian uh, court declare a of terrorist organization. Then he accepted security from the terrorists and in their illegal arms to guide him. So, which court will go for Uganda um, put that case away? Which court? Those people die for nothing. Ujofo don't want to speak about them. I don't know how, when our people will be wise, when our people will reason, when our people will get common sense, when our people we know that oh let us think twice this thing we are doing <laughs> let us think twice look at these people they went and they burned their own brother their own brother they burned the car they burned the man they burned the man boys and they, they say that, oh, we are fighting for Biafra. We don't kill her. We don't burn a car. We don't burn her. Then it become achievement of a man, the color. 
every team since he now the Carlo started uh, his uh, uh, criminal agitation, he only achieved to kill his fellow brothers and they uh, criminalize everybody. That is what he achieved. That is what he achieved. Let our people be wise. Uh, uh, China Tawolo, uh, China Tawolo, not China Tawolo, um, Chiki Dozian knew that uh, Nande Kalu betrayed them. He knew that uh, Nande Kalu betrayed them because the question that uh, uh, the fools called themselves Omoada was asking. Is asking him that they show that Nande, he knew that Nande Kalu betrayed them. That all no DS, no DOS have an information where and where he go to and why he went there. Now the master prophet is now bringing uh, evidence. Look at the master prophet when no go school. Now, when they work for banking, I ain't gonna get uh, information with the true source uh, about uh, uh, Carolina and uh, Madam, Madam Secretary uh, transfer on a lot. We then go to Kenya. Uh, why did they then do transaction a lot for Kenya? Why not tell us <coughs> which can we go do for Kenya? They want to make their friends ask uh, Carolina why they do transaction a lot to Kenya. But you don't want to tell us what Nande Kalu went Kenya to do. But they want to make uh, they want to make people uh, uh, make people ask uh, Carolina what he is doing with the what transaction he did on tent. So that a transaction, we now let Biafra know that the transaction he did is the one they used to have. Which is supposed, is supposed made they catch him. He supposed made they catch the other. Because the blood of Biafra are crying every day. Innocent people, then the Kano uh, will come on air, uh, uh, call you. Send you message, then on the on the way going the same message he send you, then DAS will arrest you or they will kill you, and they think that he will go free. He will not go free, so he will remain in prison, suffer. They will suffer him to death. This is my last prayer to Nandekalu. They must suffer Nandekalu to death. So. Uh, some people say pray for him. And then the Kalu no deserve any prayer. He must die for his deed. Thank you, Joppa. Uh, let me use this opportunity to greet my brother once again. Um, I will do all go away. I greet you, brother. I greet you, a brother, Uchemen, for a long life. I greet you, uh, Daddy. Uh, uh, I greet you, my daddy, um, Obidi, 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 and long live my mentor, Chief Mujahidi Alfari Dokubo. Long live the Fato Customary Government. Long live all the members of the Fato Customary Government. Long live the Afra. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. And of course, we continue to tell our people the truth. All what we are telling you is as a Biafran. Begin to review, begin to review what is actually going on. Don't just keep quiet and say it's normal. That is how it's supposed to be. My brother, that is not how it's supposed to be. Something is really going on. And it must be reviewed. Tomorrow you sit at home. Yes, so we sit at home. Oh, Buhari don't come. Oh, on Monday you're going to sit at home. Free Nande Kanu. But we've been doing this thing for over a decade. And it's not our way of life. 
if you will save the next generation from this pending doom people changing our lifestyle our values the earlier you stand the better we came out to fight for biafra so if what nandekanu is doing is moral why is he running why is he hiding under propaganda why is he leading innocent evil youth to their death and what does he stand to gain a lot of things going on just, just try to observe it Fulani X-Men, oh, hey, Fulani X-Men, oh, Ruga, oh, Ruga, oh, everything they are doing. They're trying to initiate policy. And we have to stand to refuel it for the sake of the next generation. Whatever game you are playing today, we cannot play that game. But of what benefit is it? Of what use? A father worked very hard to amass wealth which eventually, when he's gone, his children has no regard for that word. What use is it? The same way now the Kano and I punk are killing our people and saying they're fighting for our freedom. And so what use is freedom if you are in the grave? And don't forget the lines are open. And of course, you're free to call in and make your contribution. most of this music we are still trying to select them and because when that musician said respect to Nanda Kano it's not the Nanda Kano you know today who is a Yahoo Yahoo freedom father that was then that was then and I will encourage Biafras from this day onwards you're making any music you're making any song any program I will advise you don't put the name of anybody because some of them can easily betray of course, I'm still going through my studio album to remove every broadcast, every music that I have on the canon there. You will lose because nobody will play it. Everybody will soon see his atrocity. And of course, if you want your work to be recognized, focus on Biafra and Biafra alone. A lot of things are going to happen in the coming day. And you are encouraged to do what is necessary and what is right. And of course, at this moment, I'm joined by one of us. Uh, can you hear me? Call on WhatsApp and good evening from here. Good evening, sir. Do you want to do it? Hello. 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 Yes. The Biafans. My name is Echuku de Eric from Anoma Province. I live in Italy. I'm from a notice. Biafans need to wake up. 
I will continue to tell their friends to wake up because this man calling on the time to use our breath, to use our our head to make sure that he achieve his selfish selfish motive. But I believe that our God is not sleeping. God is alive. And we will not go scot free. Those who are supporting will not go scot free. The spirit of the Alpha will hunt them to death. Unless they do the right thing. The only thing I want IPOB members to do, and then on the canoe, and so called US, in Samuel Lepa, to come out openly and tell Biafrans the truth. If they fail to tell Biafrans the truth, the spirit of Biafra and the spirit of the people, which in the canoe led to death, early death, will hunt in the canoe and in the canoe family to death. We hunt even Samarapa, master prophets, so-called DOS, those who are supporting the evil that DOS, the blood of our people will hunt them to death. We come out to fight for Biafra. We are not, we are not here to fight for Nandekan. Very soon, those who are saying Bali will not come to Imo State, I don't have business with Bali. Bali is a failure. I don't have. Whether Bali come to Imo State, Bali does not come to Imo State, that is not my business. My business is for Biafra to wake up and do the right thing. And then the canoe and a gang to, to come out openly and confess to Biafra, because they must confess. China Samuru must confess. All of them who is involved of this dirty game to assassinate our people. Benjamin Madubugo from Anambra State must confess. They must come out and tell us what happened to Madame Sosha. They must confess to their fans. If they fail to confess to their fans, the spirit of our people will hunt them to death. If you are a member of IPOB, you are hearing my voice. Please, please pack your load and your property. Find your way. Pack your load and your property from IPOB. Find your way. I will not advise you to come and join us on Biafra National Alliance, but find a way to Biafra the Fato customary government. Because if I advise you not to come and join us on Biafra National Alliance, and you think that uh, I may maybe trying to deceive you. No. Find a way now to Biafra the Biafra the customary government. That is the only solution to save our people. And I believe that with the, with the trust I have with the Biafra, the customary government, and the belief I have for our spiritual father, who is Maze, chief of Wazurike, we are going somewhere. Don't hide under the Kanu leadership and you say you are fighting for our people. None the Kanu time is, is, is over. None the Kanu don't have anything to offer Biafras anymore. 
Because now they can't fail to listen to our people. Now they can't refuse to listen to their friends. They want to claim supreme mercy. Now they can want to claim Lord. They want to claim God over their friends. If you are still hiding under now they can leadership. You are still crying for now they can or you, are, you still want to sacrifice your life for now they can not be alpha. You are wasting your time, you are wasting your energy. Be alpha, wake up. I, I was there before. I'm a member of IPOB, Assistant Mobilization Officer in Italy, Barry Zone. Come after that and the canoe leadership. If you need the offer, if you need our freedom, come out. Listen to Dr. Dodonibu. Listen to Mazi Okuongoka from Canada. Listen to Mazi Tidera and listen to the voice of our father. My own father. Mazi Obienu. And you will be saved. If you fail to listen to this voice, you are digging your early graves. The Kondan the Kani is a failure. And the Kani will continue to fail. And the Kani will fail woefully. Because we, the Nama people, we have rejected the Kani Biafra. Now, I believe that so many ethnic groups in Biafra land will wake up very soon. They will begin to reject the Biafra. Because now the kind of Biafra will not give us any good. Now the kind of Biafra will only harm our people and destroy our land. And now the kind of Biafra will only destroy the Igbo land. They can never destroy a normal land or a jaw land or a secure land. You be go around or go in the land. None of the kind of Biafra will only destroy Igbo land, Igbo nation. Igbo people need to wake up. Igbo, Igbo people. Yes, I'm an Igbo man for my normal. For Igbo, for my number to a bony, any good Igbo state, wake up. Stop deceiving yourself. Because now the kind of Biafra will destroy Igbo nation. A day will come, you will remember people like us. We are trying now, fighting now, putting our energy, putting our, our effort to save Igbo nation. For men and the Kanu, and some Igbo people think that thought that uh, well, we want to destroy and the Kanu. We are not destroying anybody. We want to save soul. We want to deliver our people from men and the Kanu bondage. We want to deliver our people from men and the Kanu family bondage. We want to deliver our people from blood oath. We want to deliver our people from uh, Ebony Pabe and Aruchuku. We want to deliver our people from that Shiram, Lutuna, Kalaba, and Bakasi, where Nande Kanu terrorists invoke dragon. We know those secrets. And we are telling the Afghans now if you refuse to come out from under Nande Kanu leadership, May God have mercy on you because I don't know what happened to you. The blood of our people, the spirit of our Kowara, John Tsukuma, the ancestors of our land will not forgive you people. This is the right time now for you all now to come out from that leadership of Unanekanu. Unanekanu is a demon. It's a beast. 
Nnamdi Kanu is worse than the, the governor. Those those governors Nnamdi Kanu used to condemn. Nnamdi those governors is more better than Nnamdi Kanu. Even President the Bali, the evil the Bali you are condemning is better than Nnamdi Kanu. Nnamdi Kanu is a beast and is a demon. I followed him. I watch him very closely. I can tell you who Nandekanu is, what Nandekanu can do, or any. I can predict Nandekanu. Nandekanu is fake. He's fake. Because there is something my grandmother used to tell me. In a family, you say watch very closely any family if you see any man or any woman condemning the rest of the family members you say watch that person very closely that person may be a witch or an evil person since 2019 i don't i don't support anything concerning ipov i wash my hand from IPO under the leadership of Nnamdi Kanu, 2019. Then, Dr. Joe was still with them. But I'm not with them. Maybe Dr. Joe Denibe will remember. After sign and seed, 2019, I begin to post Tony Nazi video on a normal platform, a normal defense platform, a normal people's forum platform. And I started to go back. I will post the video there and my people will begin to fight me because I begin to see the sign that there is need for we to work with these people. Forget about what the Tony Nadi is saying that uh, I don't believe on Biaf that name Biafra. But I saw Tony Nadi as a very straightforward person and I started to cook up. Everybody have a, everybody make may have a little mistake or you have a, you have a, a, your own error. No, but no man is powerful and no man is God. But when you when you, when you check your own uh, your own when you check your own weak point, you check your own error. You look at your opponent error or your friend error. You judge yourself before you judge another person. Man, I cannot don't judge yourself. But then the can will continue to judge other people. You must condemn yourself before you condemn people first. Before you accuse people as a thief, a criminal. Look at yourself first. Check yourself. Are you a perfect man? When you know that you are not a perfect man, what will you do? You use your own error to check balance other people's error. You forgive, you forgive and forget. But now they can don't don't look at it. Don't don't even check anything. They want to claim holy as holy man is the best. Is the only man who can deliver Biafra. Is an Okushogo and Alpha and Omega. The only man who can decide who die or live. Is no, we don't need that kind of Biafra. Doctor George, may God continue to bless you and continue to strengthen you. Continue to strengthen my to your effort. Uh, my father did do bien, Dr. Kado. I'm yeah, going to continue to strengthen Biafra, the customary government. Our mother, mother, Rita Nebogo, give them wisdom to deliver Biafra. Biafra will come time and no man born of a woman will stop it this is just the beginning of a and the canoe sorrow and pain that pain and the canoe cause other people and the canoe will feel it back you want to assassinate our people right you want to silence all of us, right what is freedom bullet from america making us Sending voice record to you, Dr. Joe Donibe, that they are going to do this. Go 
you are you are a man living in America I, I sending voice record. I say it repeatedly. Anything they plan to do to me will be the last they will do. They won't understand it. Too. That is the last they can do. That is the highest they can do. And by the grace of God, we will outlift their shenanigans. They will understand. And they please. Dr. George, I am not promising you. I, I cannot promise you anything. I cannot tell you that. Every Chukudu will do anything. But I promise Nande Kanu and then Nande Kanu follow us. If I hear any crash from your own side, 100 years to come, I will avenge that crash to the last. I will avenge it to the last. If it can cost me my life, I will end up there. Those who are supporting our non government, prepare. If you want to put your hand, because people use the main parade, they say, small picking the hand back, where your hand will reach. So that tomorrow morning, if you want to pick that back, they can pick it without stress. If anybody want to put in hand, where your hand no go reach, 100 years, we go to adventures. I swear with my life today. If anything happened to you, we hear and say, and no matter defense, we hear and say, something happened to George Onibe, and we trace it. If a man land a canoe, or any, anybody, or non government, or anybody from my IPOB, I sweat with my life, we go and find that death. In fact, it will be travel crisis. Not be a um, matter state again. Um, I'm waiting in the column. Um, I was an Afari Kuibeko. Or anywhere. Yeah. Who we'll call us some overnight? Doc, but take care of yourself. May God continue bless you and strengthen you. Thank you very much. We must continue. And of course, the people of Biafra cannot be distracted. Nobody can drag Biafra into any rubbish again. I, I will not seen enough. Now the canon now they are looking for how to raise fund with lawyers. Fine boy now is arranging his own lawyer. But we don't have issues with all these things. But gradually changing our lifestyle, who we are, what we used to be. Bruises here. Another one, all of them, they are showcasing their lawyer. Get ready for contribution. It's unfortunate. And of course, the people of Biafra must remain focused. Uh, some things do happen. And then sometimes we'll see it doesn't matter. But it does. Because all these things are gradually changing our life. The way we reason. The way we act. I remember Mazime for some time before now. Complain bitterly. It's only complain. It's only challenge. His only request is don't change our value. Don't destroy our values. And one criminal is jumping up and that supreme mercy in the other. My brother on the WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yes. Um, brother, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Yes. Um, good evening, brothers and sisters in this struggle. It's been a very long time. I've not, you know, called on this program. I remain your brother and Kim Jika. I'm calling from Port Harcourt, your river state administrator. Um, I, I've been sick for these few weeks. I've been admitted, but thank God. Um, we are getting better. <coughs> you know, uh, I always say this. Before ever you tell me that you are going to lead me to anything, to anywhere, as a rational human being, as a reasonable human being, the first question I should ask you is, where to? Where are you leading me to? 
just like it happened in the Bible, uh, when uh, uh, Abraham chose to go for sacrifice with his son, even the little as the son asks, Father, we have everything. What are we going to use for this sacrifice? How will this sacrifice take place? The question, anybody that placed me in a situation where I cannot ask question, that person is not only um, eliminating my rational thinking, but that person is, is making me to be blindfolded. What I expect people to ask Kano is, sir, uh, how can we achieve this thing? Let's see the practicality. Let's see the, achiev the achiev achievability of this struggle. Nobody's asking Kano. He placed himself in a situation whereby you cannot ask questions. Teachers in classrooms express questions. Doctors in the, in, the, in the medical labs expect questions. Physicians, engineers entertain questions. Even politicians entertain questions. So why can't you entertain questions? You in struggle, you who believe that you are leading me. I must, I must, I must demand for some clarification. But when you ask questions, the next thing is that you are a saboteur. This is what the struggle has become. I always believe in starting anew. It, it, it may not be very late, but start anew. Our aim here is to start a new. We discover that we have been with this man and he has been the wrong person to lead us to this struggle to lead us to this to this aim we must start anew that has been my preach that has been my preach since kanum took the lead of this struggle believe me it's very hard for an average biafran in river state where i reside to publicly tell yourself or tell people around you, I am a Biafran. It is very hard. You'll be seen as, you know, killer, you know, a terrorist because of the picture of Kano in this struggle. So how can I, how can we go far when I can no longer open my mouth and publicly say that yes i belong to the biafran community i'm now hiding because my leader told me to go after the the head of the governor are you seeing it my leader told me to go after okay oh are, are there those ones that, that that were told to look for the head of the governor to cut off the head of the governor catch them kill them so how can i succeed how can i go here how can we achieve anything reasonable when you have already dented the image of this struggle? Kano is not really um, our target. He's not really our target. But he is in a situation that makes it almost impossible for us to achieve anything. He, he, he assumed himself a position that makes that struggle um, uh, uh, unfruitful. Our struggle became, you know, fruit un un unfruitful. This is what we are against. This is what we have discovered. I always use the example of someone who is building a house. There is no time to stop building a faulty foundation. You discover that the foundation of your house has faults. There is no time to stop. Even if you are close to the window level, the lintel level, you must stop. Stopping is better than managing it, than patching it. 
<coughs> so this is what the struggle has become. Uh, we are all uh, partakers of the fault. We 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 can admit the fault. Yes, we are we are all at fault in the instance by you know following this man. We accept the guilt, but we accept we follow this man because of the love for emancipation, because of the love for independence, because of the love for for our people. But along the line, we discover that that love is not there. That thing for which we believed in this man is no longer seen. It's not there. You know, when you claim to someone that you love this person, and in reality, you don't. So when we discover that Kano do not love our people, then we withdrew our support. That is when we decide to break down, to pull down the house and start on a clean note. I want people to understand it. It's not about abuse. It's not about insult, foolishness. Uh, you are Janjaweed, whatever, whatever. These things cannot help us. Let's, let's go to a, a table and talk. We have been supporting this man. We have been looking into this man's uh, activities before now. And we thought he's doing this fighting for us. So there's no time late for you to stop following that sheep. He's a wolf in the sheep clothing. So what do you do? You cut off from that. You cut off from that and trace your 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 roots. Uh, my brother George, I, I I took my little time to go through the the uh, the um, previous recordings, your previous um, audios. I mean, they are all in the same vein, in the same vein. But I discovered one thing: the level of insults have tremendously reduced. It has totally reduced, which means we are we are really working. We are really we are really progressing. Yes, we are really progressing. I can share time. Uh -huh. When nine out of ten chats that you have here will be talking about abuse, abuse, abuse. Today, we are glad that at least majority of our people have realized what we are talking about. So I, I want to uh, encourage all of us, all those who are, you know, trying to make sacrifices in order to push this frog, this struggle. Please uh, don't be tired. Uh, I, I encourage you all. I encourage all of us. Uh, the road is not very smooth, no doubt. Just as I gave an, an instance of what we see in, in River State, it's not very easy. But uh, we have pledged, you know, to, to to continue to work irrespective of the situation we found ourselves. So I thank all those who believe in the truth, all those who believe in, you know, getting to the fact, all those who believe in realizing our struggle with all of us being alive to experience it. Is not to realize the struggle when the whole the whole population will die. No, every single soul is important. Every single soul is important in the struggle. You cannot eliminate one man because he, he refused to believe in you. That is not what we believe in. We believe that everybody is important. Every soul is valuable. Who is that soul that you want to use to sacrifice to gain Biafra? Is that not a soul like yours? So uh, every human being in this struggle, we value this person. And this is why in, in every situation, we try to communicate to our people. In sickness and in good, in good health, we have pledged to make our impacts. 
I, I thank you, my brother. I thank all those who are doing their 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 bid, who are doing their their magnanimous uh, uh, impacts in order to make this struggle a reality, a success. I thank you all. Uh, my brother, uh, let me allow others to call and I will be standing by. Thank you once again, Mr. George. Thank you, my brother, uh, King Jika. And honestly, I saw your message you dropped earlier today. I wish you quick recovery as always. And of course, hopefully before the end of the day, tomorrow rather, I will try and get in touch with you. Get well soon, brother. Our job must be done. The people of Biafra must understand. We must learn to focus on the real issue. We cannot neglect any advice. We cannot neglect any strategy that is being deployed. Because the next generation may have to answer for it if we fail to do the right thing. And of course, at this moment, I am joined by my daddy in the Lord, Mazu Bidu Binu. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, uh, my you reverend, and welcome to the uh, program. Thank you very much, my brother. Um, yesterday, uh, I wasn't able to catch you on time, and I noticed that I know I came on board, and after a while, there was a, a long um, interval of uh, silence. So I didn't know what was going on, but then. I like I saw your missed call. Uh, regardless, um, I think most of the things that I wanted to say uh, yesterday has been covered this morning. But if I have the time, I will repeat them uh, for the benefits of our people. Uh, with that said, I must say good afternoon from here to all your friends and to you, my reverend. Uh, this is once again your brother, Obidio Bieno. Obidio Bieno is from Oba, and Oba. It's in our nature province. Uh, before I go on, there's uh, a young man that called this morning from Amsterdam. I don't know if he's uh, advising me on a positive note or he just want to, you know, say something. But let me look at it as this. Uh, with positive uh, aspect. He was advising me to stop coming to the radio because uh, he felt that it was affecting, it could be affecting my health because I'm an old man. And I just want to let him know that, uh, yes, I am of age, and uh, but what I'm doing is not affecting my uh, health in any form. It's something that you know needs to be done, and should be done, and should be done as appropriate. So, uh, brother, if you are listening, I will encourage you to listen to what is being said here. Uh, issue of Biafra is not about um, Ovidio Biena. It's a collective effort. You call in and make your own contribution. Uh, the reason I'm doing what I'm doing is because uh, uh, the Igbo says um, no Kenya, no, no, no. I'm not going to be here and uh, and uh, good will deliver while they are being roped. So, uh, what we're doing is uh, ongoing campaign, uh, ongoing uh, reorientation of our people to see that we have a lot of work to do. And I'm so happy uh, for all the contributors this afternoon, starting from, I, I think I started listening from Mecca, from Ghana, always on, on point and always here to help our people. Uh, to my son, Eric. Eric, I'm honored. Whenever you say your father, I heartily uh, accept that honor too. And I, I can tell you one thing, uh, that the spirit of God is in you, and that's why you do what you're doing. But I do want to um, 
uh, say something about uh, you know we cannot swear no longer about swearing and we will do what we do and by the way nothing is going to happen to my reverend uh, because he's doing the right thing and i believe i know that people appreciate uh, what they may not say it but they are watching you know our people they used to they like to hide and they are watching what is going on just like today we cannot even advise our people <laughs> we have been pushed by the wayside <laughs> pushed out of the way because now we know that there are a lot of people really want to be afraid. okay so but that's encouraging to see everybody now uh, trying to make uh, waves in the issue of restoration of Biafra. Uh, one thing I guarantee you is that we must get Biafra, we must be free uh, from the contraption called Nigeria. It's um, a failed state. Uh, AGK said the other day that it's a um, failed state, and uh, I think there's another level of criteria. He said that's what we are waiting for. Uh, Nigeria has failed. The only thing is to break it into pieces. Uh, paraphrasing what my brother educated said the other day. Now, uh, with that, I also want to um, appreciate my sister, one of the daughters of the truth that I called uh, Chidera, Chidera's program uh, this morning. That was encouraging. Uh, that tells us that the, the, the seed we are sowing is bearing fruit because what we do on this platform is to call on all Biafrans and all of the freedom uh, to come together. This is no longer uh, one particular group uh, situation. Uh, when you look at that contraption, you see people from South Africa and they're crying. And yesterday, I also noticed, saw that uh, people that call themselves central, not, not central, is now crying. We don't know if all those things are, you know, kind of, you know, they know how to bring about distractions. Okay, I was so surprised that even Niger State is, uh, is classified as uh, not central, that they are not core north. Okay, but I know their politics, their politics with the north. Even Benue, Middle Belt has been part of the North. Now we, we see our brother Autumn lamenting every day. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that his conscience is clean, uh, but then <laughs> too much lamentation it really makes me feel for him. There's no day I turn them to, to a channel that I wouldn't see. <laughs> All done with his uh, colorful hat, crying, you know, and so, <laughs> sometimes I say, what is all this? That a governor, the chief executive of a state, uh, is now a crybaby. Uh, but the point is, they are crying to the wrong person. I mean, there are things that will be happening. Somebody needs to take a stand. Take a stand. It's no longer crying. If somebody is killing you, you're crying. Asking the person to, to help you. Asking the person to uh, bring the law and order. These people does not know what is law and order. As far as their, their belief system, as far as they are thinking, their, their, their worldview, it's that you must, you know, in the so-called, uh, the contraption called Nigeria. Over all this time, we have seen we are in the fourth position, apparently became a governor. Now he's you know, killing his people uh, to secure his position. We have seen also uh, um, the CJN of a, of a country that was uh, packaged and removed immediately from his office. No trial, nothing. No hearing, nothing whatsoever. We have seen a place where uh, an Islamic law uh, um, 
Islamic law uh, teacher is now uh, placed as a CJN of a contemporary uh, society. Uh, and everybody is talking about law and order. Even if they chop your head, they are talking about law and order. Okay, the other day it was an attack in, in ND, law and order. We are law abiding citizens. I don't know when people will realize that Nigeria is a jungle. I know people call it zoo, but I do know that as far as that society is a jungle. Okay. We also, I also saw this video of uh, one Yoruba woman that was supporting Mahatiela. According to her, she says she lives in California. And where she lives in California here, that they have ranches. I'm glad she mentioned ranches. Okay, and then she quoted the billions of dollars that is being, you know, uh, gained from that ranching. Okay, she quoted how much, quoted the employment and everything. She's in California, by the way, but she had not mentioned that there are regulatory agencies that is basically individual businesses. It's, it has nothing to do with the government of California. She didn't mention that. And I, I'm looking at this woman, a real woman, talking trash from her mouth because of money, apparently because of money. She already showed her conscience. My ATL that is... A terrorist organization is not number two now, I would think three. This woman was there supporting Mayatiela or trying to make a point in the, in the form of uh, supporting them that they must, in this situation, they must take your land for ranching because according to her, millions of billions of dollars will be, will be gained from ranching, okay? So the issue of what we are fighting against is apparent. The point is, the people that are concerned, what are you doing individually? For this platform that we are talking about right now, we are talking through from me, is doing our best. We are also calling on other people to come out and make themselves available. Like I said, my sister this morning is so proud that even upon all the insults that she has received for trying to help his people, she is still doing what she has to do for us to uh, come out of this mess. Biafra, the fact the government is standing. We need people to take up uh, service areas to help. Okay, so we are calling on people to come out. But that notwithstanding, our stance today is working collaboratively with all the people that is under the auspices of the Nigerian indigenous nationalities. We are ready for the alliance because the last time I checked, indigenous people of Biafra is still within Nigeria. We cannot lie about that. There's no feigning of information. And part of the things that are keeping us back is we are lying to ourselves and respect freedom. Of course, God has decreed that we can only be free when there's truth in what we're saying. So at me calling this afternoon is also an encouragement. Since my sister has come out, we encourage more of the participation. We encourage people from a door. We encourage People from Egala, Idom, Oron, Ijo, Urobo, name it, Ichekiri. This is your platform. People from the Jaws, you are being killed right now again. They have come back to you. Before you know it, they will go back to Kaduna. All these Christian communities, and even non-Christian communities, that values life, because for, for me, I don't know where this type of uh, group of people that don't value life is coming, and they are 
operating under the auspices of religion. I don't know where they're coming from. So we are still giving a call for our people to begin to come. And we are not asking you to come here and start advising or uh, asking a relevant question. There's numbers that are posted on, on my, my reverence uh, platform. When children have broadcast, he posts a number. When Opie he broadcast, he posts a number. Okay, if you want any question, go to and call that number after the broadcast. Okum comes here and call on people in Europe to join. Educate does the same thing. Frank, uh, uh, my brother in Italy, does the same thing. Malike, very soon, he's probably getting ready to call now comes out to call our people. All you can do for Beavance is to take that pieces of information and call after the program. We need to saturate Biafra land with this message because I know by now we are just talking to some of uh, the areas in Onitsha and some in Port Accord. I thank God for my brother whom I've been thinking in my brain what happened to him. And I'm, I pray for you a uh, quick recovery. I know you are doing great. Um, I forgot his name, but he knows the protocol. Intensika, yeah, thank God for his life. My brother, you are going to get well soon. Uh, you are already getting well, part of recovery. Okay, so we want this message to such to be a friend so that we can collectively take action. People in Biafra land can hear this message because by, as of now, we are still suffering from these lunatics who are calling for sit at home every time. They are not just calling for sit at home for people to show solidarity, but we now know that they are now killing our people. They are now forcing our people to go along with the uh, ludicrousness and it's not acceptable. Two days ago, there was a fire set in Abakriki. Somebody's uh, goods. Somebody was set ablaze in his father's house in the name of uh, uh, Sabotua. I mean, what, what, how, where are we going with all this? And these are just the ones that I know. Okay, the last time, about a month ago, uh, All inside it. And then we're talking about Biafra. So we need to continue to, we need this message to go around so that people will understand what we are talking about. We want freedom. We want Biafra. But as far as we know right now, what Nandi Ken and his cohorts are doing in the name of Biafra and freedom is unacceptable. And that's what we're saying here. Okay, and the reason we have continued to say this thing is because they have continued to push themselves on people, force themselves on people. Okay, they are now tomorrow is gonna be they're gonna come out and kill people and do the stupid stuff. They're gonna do it again tomorrow. Okay, so this is why we have continued to say what we're saying. Okay, so dear friends. And non beer friends, as long as you are a freedom fighter, you are welcome. Please listen to this uh, voice of restoration. We must all work together to free ourselves from the contraption called Nigeria. And my Reverend, I want to thank you for this opportunity given me. And may God keep keeping you. It's nothing is going to happen to you. And um, I thank you. And your blessings for your family. And I want to say to all of your friends, all hell Biafra, and God bless the people of Biafra and all of us are freedom. Thank you very much for the opportunity, my brother. Thank Have you a great day. very much. And uh, we must continue. And of course, uh, the people of Biafra must understand. It is as simple as ABC. We are working very hard to correct certain impressions that are not right. The people of Biafra must be observant. If you neglect, if you ignore these changes we are encountering,
can assure you the next generation may have to suffer for it greatly. But that we cannot allow to happen. That we cannot allow to happen. And of course, uh, I'm joined by another person, a caller on the line. Can you hear me? Caller on the line, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening from here. Your name and where are you calling from? Yes. <coughs> My name is Mr. Samuel. Mado. I was in a Calling you from Rio, Janeiro, Brazil. You're welcome, my brother. Good evening from here. Thank you very much, Mr. George. Yeah, my dear, 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 dear. Uh, Mr. George, dear, 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 I want to contribute to your program, but present one at all. You're always welcome, my I am brother. not happy. I am not happy, and I am not happy. I want to give a full description of myself for the whole world to bear me with me. Mr. Umabe Arazuma is from OKPP, a dead miracle government, Omambala, <coughs> Yakalam. I am referring my address to the last, second to the last caller that called from Anambara, that said we to reunite, we to forgive, and come together. Before I start analyzing, I want to take him back to the history of America. Mr. Clinton, our ex-president, Mr. Clinton, the Clinton, committed adultery in the high office of the United States of America. I think he was forgiven, but he was punished. They removed his license to practice law and many other benefits. So for that caller, calling your program from Anambra, telling us to reconcile, there is no reconciliation in my dictionary for anybody who has murdered our people. Nobody is asking about Akawara, Wakawaka, Madan Tosia. And you, caller, calling us to reconcile I pray that what happened to this book should happen to your father, happen to your mother, happen to your sister, happen to your wife. So you know how painful it is. You should reconcile with the devil. Show me anywhere in the world, even your, your Bible, where Satan has repented. It's a pity. The so-called IPOB. Who has been there for years, lecturing you, telling you the atrocity going on? Mr. Judge, you don't need we don't need crowd. The Bible made me to understand righteousness exalts a nation, an individual, a family. I strongly believe that. When the righteousness of this Biafra human rights will be exhort, they will come. Nobody wants to be on the devil's side. I just came here to complain or to attack that second to last caller who said they should reconcile. And Mr. George, please, stop telling us to forgive or not the coming should repent. No, that is your own personal opinion. Nobody is repenting here. If you like, let me come and tell us he's sorry. No, he must die. He must be hanged for the killing of people's children. My cousin died. That's one Peter. Other people's children died. They all carried them nine months. It's not special. We don't need evil, devilish people in this new. Wagon. No, 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 God, no. He cannot to start with. It's impossible. So we preaching him to come and say he's sorry is a waste of time. We don't need a college. We only need that he should die in that day or whatever vehicle detention way he is. I don't really care. People's children have been have, have died because of him. He murdered them. He killed them. So why? 
Why are we trying to to, to tamper justice with 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 with, with sweet words? No. Injustice anywhere is injustice anywhere. We must be killed for the atonement of Biafra land and its entourage. That is the reason why I call. Thank you, Biafra Joyce. Thank you for giving me the platform. You are very welcome, my brother, and honestly. We understand your position. And that is just the truth. Those who has not encountered the atrocity, the evil of Unandekano, will not understand. I, I, I don't, I can't understand why somebody can blatantly lie without rumors. I'm telling you, on the judgment day, devil will be vindicated because of people like Enandekano. For Mazi Mefo, who does not like getting involved in issues, but always looking for a way to correct issues, to come out and tell you that on no on will Jamie Piri Kuja Twasa. You people don't understand. But it's not of much concern to us. We will repair everything he has destroyed. It is part of the mission. We will help our people to find their way back to what we used to be. But I tell you, for the sake of protocol, we, we see certain things, we look at certain things, but I tell you, every matter must be reviewed, properly reviewed, and necessary action taken. And once again, the people of Biafra, now the colonel would have told you, those of you who are about to die tomorrow, we salute you. But this time is different. They are going to arrest some unknown gunmen of Fernandekano. They will be killed. And the unknown gunmen of Fernandekano or ESM will go for our innocent people. They will kill them. But what is their aim? They want to install fear in the heart of our people. They, they, they will be and now there are a lot of demonic influence around them and some people will come hey emana hey, bbc bo, for instance and the ipobo one or not to that we did a afia man and the canals why are you people doing this but it's okay we understand how it works and our people must know the truth do not forget a lot of atrocities is still going on in Biafra land. Do not forget the agenda of the Nigerian state against us as a people. And somewhere along the line, don't think we can wish this evil away. It must be confronted. We must fight back. And I can assure you, no matter what happens, victory is ours in the end. And of course, at this junction, We'll draw the curtain on this very segment. Tomorrow is another day. We will continue from where we stop. Genuine dear friends across the globe who are working sincerely for the restoration of Biafra. What can I say? What can I tell you? All that and continue doing what you are doing. Sincere appreciation to those of you who were able to call in to make your contribution. And my apology to those of you I cannot take their call at this point. Good night from here and God bless you. <laughs>